typical pattern that we have seen across most Salesforce programs. Uh, so it's basically using branches for orgs. So uh, whoever is using source control and, and you know, using this model. So we have seen this model where you have a developer branch, which is directly pointed to a dev org. Uh, then you have a QA branch, which is pointed to a QA org definitely, and each environment, you know, you're tied to a branch, right? So what you've seen is as your project grows with this kind of model, the complexity becomes so hard, right? Um, you lose the kind of traceability. You, you need to always merge back and forth. Say you need to fix something in master, you need to bring that back into staging. And after a point in time when you're, you know, when your project becomes so big and you can no longer do a full deployment and you start doing Delta deployment, uh, you start computing Delta from each particular branch. So you, you compute a chain set from a staging branch and then deploy the stain uh, and deploy that particular chain set into that particular environment. So the net effect is it becomes so hard to understand why a bug particularly arised during deployment into an environment and why it didn't happen in the previous environment because it's not the same uh, package that you deployed. It's completely rebuilt in every case, right? So this is something which we completely ask people to stop doing it. So if you've seen, if you have seen this in practice, uh, I mean in the new orgs and stuff, don't do that. Uh, there is always a better way of doing it. So this is only applicable when you're running a very small program and, and you know exactly what you're trying to do. This is one of the things what Salesforce also kind of had this issue around, and that's why they you know started looking into packaging uh, early on. And you know, when Salesforce DX introduced, they came with the packaging model, right? So the whole idea behind this concept here is to build a set of packages from a point in time. Uh, so the source control is no longer tied into the environment model, right? So there is no branch called QA, UAT and stuff. So you completely delink, you know, the branches from your environment. And at a point in time from your commit, you're, you're setting, you're building a set of artifacts. And all these artifacts, you know, whatever you call it, right? It could be packages, artifacts. These are pushed into an artifact repository, which forms a source of information, source of truth. So it is all versioned set of packages. And then on your release pipeline, you pick those versions or hey, you know, this particular release constitute 10 of these artifacts with this particular version. So it's completely traceable uh, to what version is getting deployed in which environment. You can always go back and, you know, yeah, we know that rollback is really tough in Salesforce, but in some instances you can actually do deploy a certain uh, older version of a package. And this allows you to do that without resorting to, you know, juggling around branches. So if you're using branches or you need to unmerge a particular feature, you need to do all this kind of magic to get it working again here, you will just go back to your artifact repository, pick the version again and start deploying it.